So, you've been playing Melee for a little while now. You watched the documentary, started paying attention to tournaments, you can wave dash, dash dance, F smash, and smash pants, and you're thinking it's time that you attend your first tournament. You're even thinking, I might do pretty good. <laughs> there's going to be some things you'll want to prepare for because there's much more going on than just playing Melee. I've been to a handful of smaller tournaments as a newer player, and I've put together a list of things you'll need to be prepared for your first Melee tournament. So you find your local scene online and find out that they have a bi-weekly this Friday. It's a bit of a drive for you, but that's fine. You're going for the experience. It says friendlies start at 6 p.m. and the singles bracket will start at 7. The first thing you'll learn with going to tournaments is that these times are completely meaningless. Just absolutely fucking pointless. If I could make a list of the most meaningless things I could think of, at the bottom would be our existence. Just above that we've got campaign promises of any politician. Super meaningless. And then right above that you've got melee tournament start times, which is just below my nose tier list as the most meaningless thing I can think of. I don't necessarily have any advice on this, it's just something you should be aware of. So you show up fashionably late at around 6.30 and realize you're the first person there. Well, you and some Smash 4 player, but don't worry about them, they're mostly harmless. You hang around for a bit, force awkward conversation, and finally some of the others start showing up. Once they're all set up, you can head over to the TO, Swallow your pride and offer him $10 in exchange for the biggest ass whooping of your entire life. I don't care if you're a grown man, I don't care if you fight in the UFC, you have no idea what's about to happen. Once everyone is registered and the tournament is set to begin, you need to find out who your first match is against. You check the bracket and see that you're up against somebody named Dognuts. Obviously you have no idea who that is, so you go to the TO and you ask him, Who's dog nuts? He says, he's the guy with the beard. You glance over at the friendly station and see about 10 people with beards. You ask the TO if he can clarify a little further, and he says he's the guy with the beard wearing pajama pants. This narrows it down to about five possibilities of bearded guys wearing pajama pants. You ask once more for help, and he says, he's the bearded guy wearing pajama pants with blonde hair. You now have a 50-50 chance of figuring out who Dog Nuts is, and you take those odds. Because they're the best you're going to get of winning anything all night. So it's now about 8.30 and the 7 o'clock tournament is set to begin. You found Dog Nuts, you're sitting in front of a 10-inch CRT that looks like it just got out of an elevator with Ray Rice. And Dog Nuts holds out his fist. Now this you're prepared for. You've seen melee tournaments, you know the drill. Finally, something you can do. You enthusiastically bump his fist and say, Good luck, dude. It's at this point that you realize he was trying to do rock, paper, scissors, and you have successfully been bodied for the first time of the night. No worries. You reassess the situation, play RPS, and you actually win. Nice. He's playing Fox, so you look at the stage list and tell him, I'm going to ban Pokemon. Dognuts gives you a funny look lets you know Pokemon is not one of the starting stages, and you've now been bodied for the second time of the night. So you get through the stage bands, and the first match is on Dreamland. You awkwardly fist bump dog nuts for the second time, say good luck, and the match begins. Four seconds into the game, he hits you off ledge, you get shine spiked, and you get the sudden realization that you have no fucking idea how to play this game. And I don't just mean that he's a better player than you. He is. I mean like your hands stop working entirely. Everything you've practiced, everything you've learned from watching the game gets completely thrown out the fucking window and you're in for what will possibly be the quickest two matches of melee in your entire life. At this point, you're given a choice. You can sit there, endure the beating, and do your best to learn from it, or my preferred option, shut your brain off completely and just black out the next five to ten minutes or so. It's up to you, though I can say the blackout option has a much less dire effect on your self-worth. So you lost to Dog Nuts, 2-0, and now you're in the loser's bracket. Well that's alright you say, you've seen Mango do this, you can do it too. It's time for the loser's bracket run. 
You check the TO desk and find that you're playing against some guy named Two Shoes. The TO tells you he's the one without a beard, and you find him right away. Now you've got some experience. You sit down, get through RPS without a hitch, fist bump, and the match begins. Holy crap, he is terrible. He doesn't dash dance or L cancel. He doesn't use any tech at all. You black out for a bit, get through the matches, and when you come to, you find it was a quick 2-0. You snap out of it a bit more, and it turns out that two shoes just whooped your fucking ass. It's now about 8.45, and your tournament life is over. Hope you had fun. <laughs> Depending on how much of a beating you can take, you can opt in for some friendlies. Here you'll realize that the tier list doesn't apply to you at all, as some guy will probably four-stock you with Kirby, and at this point, you should be ready to just go home. I recommend whiskey to help ease the pain, or if it's your thing, some cheesecake definitely helps too. Of course, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment on YouTube or Reddit. Tweet at me, I just set up a Twitter account, the link is in the description. On a serious note, melee tournaments are fun as shit, and if you're interested in the game, they're an awesome place to go where you can be around tons of other people who love melee, love talking about melee, and if you show you're interested, will probably welcome you with open arms. Or a closed fist if you meet them in bracket, but, you know, that's part of the fun. As always, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you next time.